send function to VCO1. So I can make this E into an E flat simply by pulling this down. So let's go back. As long as we make sure that the first oscillator is the third of the chord, we are set. Let's do that. Now, with a little bit of practice, you can do things like this. We have portamento. The cool thing about Korg Monopoly Portamento is the Portamento rate affects each oscillator differently, so they're actually sliding at a different rate, which makes a really cool fat sound. The Portamento also works in the polyphonic mode. The filter. Twenty-four decibel per octave filter, just like you would want, and that's without resonance. Of course, we can turn the resonance on. That's a great sounding filter. Korg has given you an ADSR envelope for your filter, so you can get a. Uh, envelope generated filter effects. But they've also been so cool as to give you negative envelope effects. Which is cool. And also we have variable keyboard tracking, making the filter more open on top than on the bottom. And of course that will work with the poly section. You also have an ADSR envelope, which a mini Moog doesn't even have. We have noise. And if you don't want to hear the other oscillators, you can definitely turn down each oscillator so you can just get noise. The filter goes into self-oscillation, so you can hear that. The crazy cross-mod and frequency modulation section, um, and that is accessed through the effects button. Cross mod is frequency cross modulation, which sounds a lot like a ring modulator. We also have the ability to do frequency modulation with uh, oscillator sync. And you can set that to be controlled by MG1, which is uh, the first LFO, or the uh, voltage controlled filters envelope generator. Or 
we can have both of them on at the same time. So that's pretty cool. You can also control one of the oscillators via the mod wheel section. Or you can control the modulation generator's effect on that particular effect. So that's a really cool effect. Well, let's just look at the LFOs. There are two of them. One is a sine wave that you can control the frequency of, and it has a light to tell you how fast it's going. Um, that's the second LFO. The okay, the first LFO has a triangle setting, a saw setting, a backward saw setting, and a square setting. A volume knob and an output selector. You can turn off the output, which is very convenient, if you want to start it off at a certain volume setting. The modulation wheels are very powerful. The bend will basically bend whatever it's connected to. In this case, it's set to the filter. You can set it to, of course, pitch and the intensity. Or you can have it just bend the first oscillator, which has great deal of functionality when used with the chord memory or the effects section. And, uh, the modulation wheel um, controls modulation generator one. You can set it so it will, it's modulation generator one will control the first oscillator, which again is very functional for the free, uh, the effects section, the cross mod and the sync. You can have it control pitch, of course. <laughs> Or you can have it just control the filter. You can use them both in tandem. There's the transpose button, which is pretty straightforward. And the trigger function, which basically controls the filter so that it will have multiple trigger. It will trigger the envelope that controls the filter every single time you press a note. Or it will only do the first note you press. It's a very subtle distinction, just like with the auto damp, which basically damps a previous chord or note so that you can play the next one. Uh, primarily for use with the poly section. And then with it on. It's very subtle, but it's actually better for the poly section if it's on. Okay, the arpeggio section, controlled by the second modulation generator. You can do one octave, two octaves, or the full length of the keyboard. 
up and down, down, up. You can have it on, so you have to hold the cord. Or you can latch, so it'll hold the cord. Really cool thing you can do with the poly section. You can set each note to a different pitch and a different waveform and then play. 